Hi, this is from Groovy Entertainment. Today video is talking about the Little House, 1970s. Now I'm gonna take the record out so we don't destroy the record. Now, I remember seeing this book on NB uh I think it was ABC or NBC, Wall Disney Presents, that came on I think every uh came on every Sunday and every Friday. And they would show a two hour movie on one of them days or a bunch of short, uh, shorts or brand new, or not really brand new Disney stuff. They did just do some brand new Disney stuff also. But mostly this old stuff that they put into a collection and try to pretend it was brand new. And I remember this was one of the movies that they had on there. And I think when I seen when I saw that, I think it was 1985 or 86. It could have been 87 also. But I remember this movie. Or I think it was a movie. It was on TV. I know that much. Now, I don't know what this was. Was this really a movie movie? And when I saw it, it became cut up and they made it a short little thing on, t on the AD TV? Or was this a short? Leave it in the comments and let me know which way it was. Now, this was just a story about a house that kind of would buy itself and everything. Here's some pictures of it. And he wasn't, he was happy enough to be by himself until, until the neighborhood got worse. Let's see. Yeah, the neighborhood got worse. The kid was just hitting baseballs at the windows and stuff. You could say that they went from the country to kind of the uncountry. And you had all the kids outside. And then it got dark. I'm not going to show you the whole book. Here we go. Here's some more. Then the neighborhood got kind of built up. And he got stuck between two party houses. And he wasn't too crazy about getting stuck with two party houses. And it kind of like nowadays, where you live in your house forever, and you get two neighbors that play two kind of music 24-7. So you get stuck between two party houses. And you either move out, so all the cops are on them or everything, but then by, that, but by then you have enemies, and you're stuck between two enemies. Just like he was in this sense. Then I think they moved out. No, the house the house burned down because this is this is 1970, so the year was cigarettes or or weed and stuff like that burnt down the two houses, and he was so by himself, and the fire burnt him in a sense. That's that's another reason why why I don't be around party people and people that smoke and do crazy things because if you're in the middle of them two houses, your house might go down with them. And you, you all three will do. Yep, see? Then the ghetto came, and he got stuck in the ghetto. And you don't really hear too many Disney books talk about the ghetto ever. This is the first time, I think. He had, I think this is the first time. I can't think of any books that would have had this, this happening to him. And then, then the ghetto get kind of so rough and turn and nobody pays their their rent. Just like nowadays, you have uh, empty buildings because nobody wants to do anything with them. The landlord cheating the people and the people ain't paying the landlord. So come the desert, and I'm surprised we didn't get to this level yet. And then we just see some more of the house just closing her eyes saying, I know I'm going to be next because I can't live by myself with nobody looking after me. And who wants a house by themselves? Now, I like the way they drew the pictures. Like I said, I, think, I forget who, who was the house, but I haven't seen this thing in, in since 
almost 40 years ago. Even so it came out in the 70s. I saw a rerun of it on regular TV. Mm -hmm. Then the city gets a hold to the neighborhood. And he's so stuck by himself in the in between the cities. So in a sense, the ghetto got taken over because they didn't take care of it. Then the rich man took took over this took over this little nice country town, made it into a city, and now nobody can afford to live in the city. And nobody wants that little house. Kind of a sad story, like a like a Cinderella story. Then the mover come to move the house out of the city. And I think they moved him to another nice nice part of town all by himself. Uh, they're moving him still. Now, this is kind of like in real life. If you don't like where you live at, you pay somebody a lot of money to move your house to a better neighborhood. Not too many people can do that unless, you, unless you're super rich, but you can do that if you buy the land and everything. But you don't hear too many people talking about, I'm going to move my house to another part of town. Mostly they moved out of their house to another part of town, but this would probably be the cheaper way of doing it. If you already bought your house, oh, oh, ain't this nice? Now he moved to a nice neighborhood, and and look who gonna move right into the house? The kids that destroyed him in the first in in, in the first place. And these are the same kids that hit him in the, that that hit him with a baseball, and these are the same kids that were sitting outside having a picnic. So so it went in circles. And then we get to see the parents of these crazy kids. So you know what that means? He's going to get hit in the head again with another baseball. But he's back in the country again. So that's a plus. And that's it. Now, this book was copyrighted also. And you had two, like, you had two terrible songs. <laughs> you had, let's see. You had the Little House song, and you had the end. That's the name. That's the name of the second song. They both are terrible. I it's nothing for it's nothing rememberable of them two terrible songs. But the, the audio book was real good. It had no background music or nothing. It was just a lady reading off the book. Let's see, they tell good. Like I let's see. Okay, Lewis Lane read this book. And in some cases, they don't give credit to the to the person who reading the book ever. This is, I think Lewis Lane must have been a popular person because she got a lot of credit of a lot of stuff I've been doing. And the only time you get credit is when they do the do the songwriters. They get credit because they have to get credit. And if I'm looking at this right, it's like, no, that can't be right. <laughs> so, so this did get copyrighted. Walt Disney makes some more money off of me. I can't say Walt didn't. Yeah, Walt Disney. So, so when the so when they talk about Disney going under, they ain't going under. All the all their stuff I be doing. That, so you, so the, there are two of these, the uncut and the cut version. The, un, the uncut got all the songs and everything to it. The cut version cut out the songs. Or, no, it cut, it cut out one song. It was, I think it was the little house that had copyrighted. But the, but the other song was not copyrighted at all. So you get to hear one song in the uncut in the cut version. You get to hear both songs in the uncut version. So I get to make money off of something. So I don't want to break the record. So this was the Little House from 1970, and if you remember this being at the theaters, on I think they had the ABC percent, not ABC. <laughs> okay, Walt Disney percent back in the 60s and 70s. 
if you remember watching it on that thing, our people are seeing this later in life. Like I said, I've seen this in the 80s, and I hadn't seen it since the 80s until a couple of days until 1st of June of this year. And this book is 54 years old. So I'm glad to have a, a copy of it. And this is part of history. Because if I didn't have it, you would never hear this ever again. Because people don't play this stuff on YouTube. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a good day. But another video coming out real soon.